What is up? It's Scott Tajarian from the Weekly Transit Astrology Podcast here with my sports and astrology segment with Samantha Dotton. And we are dis- uh, discussing Aaron Rodgers, Hall of Fame quarterback for the New York Jets, future Hall of Famer. He's not there yet, but of course he's going to be there because he's one of the greatest that's ever played. He's sure. also an astrologer as well. And that's why he's such a fascinating subject to look at. We're looking at the house placement for his moon. When Aaron Rodgers was born, the moon was in the seventh house. So the seventh house is associated with the seventh sign, which is Libra. Libra is ruled by Venus. Therefore, the seventh house is ruled by Venus. Libra is an air sign. Air is more extroverted than introverted because air is something that can touch you, but it's not something that you can touch. Air can be a cool breeze on a hot summer day, or it can be a hurricane. It's all how you're working with the energy. The modality of Libra is cardinal. The modality is determined by the time of the season. The sun is transiting through a sign. When the sun is transiting through a cardinal sign, it's the beginning of the season. So too, when the sun is transiting through Libra, it's the beginning of fall. These are the starter signs. These are the signs that uh, lead us into the new season. These are the signs that are great at starting projects, but could be a bit more challenged with completing them. It's all how you're working with the energy. The planetary ruler of Libra is Venus. Venus is a circle of spirit on top of a cross of matter, symbolizing your eternal soul in the world of matter and what it senses, the five physical senses, sight, sound, smell, taste, touch. Venus is Lady Luck, the goddess of love and beauty, the planet of relationships. The symbol for Libra is the scales, something on this side, something on that side, representing balance, harmony, equanimity, fairness. So being born with the moon in the seventh house, the house of marriage, Aaron Rodgers isn't married. What does this mean? He's not married, (laughs) but his moon is in the seventh house. The house of marriage, that can't be. That's one of the funny questions I always get from people is like, well, there's no planets in the fifth house. Does that mean I'm never having a kid because it's the house of children or there's no planets in the seventh house? Does that mean that I'm never getting married? Well, Aaron Rodgers has two planets in the seventh house and he's not married, though he's had a lot of long-term relationships. So what does that mean? Well, it means that he is emotionally fulfilled by being in marriage. And marriage can mean being married, but it can also mean, you know, having a lover, a friend, a business partner. You know, there's one of the players on the Jets who they highlighted in last week's episode, Randall Cobb, Mm, wide receiver, who's played with Aaron Rodgers for like, maybe 10 years or so, uh, you probably about 10 years, maybe longer. And he's Aaron Rodgers is the godfather to Randall Cobb's children, you know? So they're obviously very close. You see them in the last game they played together at Lambeau yeah. field is green Bay Packers. They're sitting together on the bench. They're walking off the field with their arms around each other. I mean, that's a marriage. That's a marriage. I mean, Randall Codd's married to a woman, but, you know, his relationship with Aaron Rodgers is very deep, very passionate. You know, they share intimacy with each other, secrets. That's a Scorpio energy. But, you know, the Libra energy, that's about balance, harmony. So Aaron Rodgers is emotionally fulfilled by, by having harmony and balance and peace and equanimity. When things are unbalanced, then he will become emotional. Yeah, I like how you describe that in terms of um, emotional balance, because I think a lot of times when people think about moon and emotions, it goes to the negative route Mm. in terms of showing emotions or being emotional or is maybe not the right thing to do all the time. But if um, you are doing it in a responsible way, way that is also true to your chart Mm -hmm. emotions can like you have said to me many times emotions can be your superpower yes 
Yes. Well, for Aaron Rodgers, having the moon in the seventh house means that he's somebody who is emotionally fulfilled by sharing his emotions with people that he is connected to on a one-on-one basis. And in return, he would like them to also share what they're feeling to him. And so this is the connection. This is why you, when you see him on hard knocks, talking to coaches or teammates, you see him, he really wants to connect on an emotional level. And, and he does. So he's not like in your face about it either. It's kind of that scorpion way where he's, he's measured and he's kind of, you know, he's kind of in the shadows with it, but he's making that effort. And it's very clear uh, that he wants to connect. And yes. The other thing that came to mind. Oh, sorry. The other thing that came to mind also in terms of um, how he's emotionally fulfilled with relationships Mm -hmm. and one-on-one, how you specifically Mm -hmm. said, I immediately thought, well, maybe that's also too why, the emotions with reporters hasn't gone so well because he doesn't feel an emotional connection to someone that he doesn't see on a daily basis. Well, he might even see them on a daily basis. A lot of these reporters he does see like, you know, throughout the week because they're, they're on, they're the beat reporters, but it, so because he sees them, this is such a great point, Sam. Thank you. Because he sees them on a daily basis, he knows Like, are you asking this question from a place of real wanting to know, or are you trying to get under my skin? Are you trying to agitate me in some way? You know, like when the whole COVID thing was happening and the vaccine and all that sort of stuff, and he's on the the opposite end of the mainstream media, you know, he started to get a little testy. Because he's like, you're asking me the same question. You know, you're trying to aggravate me. You know, this is, you're not being nice. And, and so that's when the scorpion yeah. <laughs> of, the, <laughs> of the emotions comes out. And it's like, you know, we've had a connection and you are now breaching that trust. Because one thing about that Scorpio moon if you are trying to manipulate me, if you are trying to, uh, if you are betraying me in any way that I see from the trust of the connection of our emotions, that can be an unforgivable sin, you know? So it all depends on how deep the emotions go for Aaron Rodgers and some of these reporters. I don't know if he's cut people out. I know that he, one of his, he comes on this weekly show, Pat McAfee, Uh, who is a former punter in the NFL who has his own podcast and Aaron Rodgers is on his show every week. Those are two people that that's somebody who's developed a trust with, with Aaron Rodgers, where Aaron Rodgers feels emotionally safe with Pat McAfee and knows that, you know, Pat is going to ask questions that are going to be respectful to Aaron Rodgers. Like Aaron Rodgers is going to tell you the truth. But if you're going to try, that's a Sagittarius sun. But if you're going to try to aggravate him in some way, then, you know, that's like, you know, holding a scorpion in your hand and like, you know, waving your hand, you're going to get stung. So, yeah. And he's going to just react in that way. Um, And I don't know what all went down, why he left Green Bay. Mm -hmm. However, just pretty logical, right? Like he's the dude. He yeah. said he's a future Hall of Famer. Yep. Um, he still obviously has the skills to win lots of games. Mm-hmm. Like Green Bay, they uh, to me, they didn't appeal to or they went against how he is um, his emotional makeup. Mm-hmm. And it's I just, you know, how we fantasize sometimes about how it would be great to, you know build our own team based on <laughs> on everyone's chart um if the green if you know green bay the powers that be if they looked at his chart and said oh how can we appeal to him to keep him well that's what i really wonder about i really yeah, wonder yeah. that about green bay i wonder that about the new york jets because they obviously have to know that he's an astrologer 
And I just have to imagine, like, I'll just give a little personal kind of personal story here. Like I have a friend, a good friend who is a chef at a big restaurant in New York. And Aaron Rodgers came into the restaurant with a a bunch of other New York jets recently. And he asked the waitress or the server for if, if she would tell him her primal triad which is the sun, the moon, and the rising sign. So I imagine that if Aaron Rodgers is out at a restaurant with a bunch of his teammates from the football team asking the server their primal triad, I mean, I just have to imagine that he's going to want to know the date, time, and place of birth (laughs) of everybody who's in the organization. And he's giving it back to like Deborah Silverman or something. And she's looking at their charts and say, well, this might be a, they're going to be a good match for you or this, there's trouble there or whatever. I, I mean, that's what I do with my clients. So Right. Or not (laughs) even, yeah. Yeah. Watch out for this, watch out for that, but also to how to work with the energy. Yeah. That's what I mean. How to um, like, how can I support that person? Yes. What well, do they want to hear? Or, you know, what's their, you know, that's how, how you tick? work with the energy is, yeah. is by, you know, you want to be supporting them. You, it's you, you're going to recognize that there's going to be gifts. There's going to be challenges with every single relationship, but it's through understanding the nature of those gifts and challenges and how you mesh with somebody else is how you're able to work with the energy in a positive way. That's supportive to both you and them. Right, right, right. Yeah. So let's, Mm. let's call it here. Let's come back though. We got to talk about Aaron Rodgers, his ascendant and what that's all Mm. about in the next video. All right. Thanks, Scott. You're welcome, Sam.